So that's why they call them shaver post bounders. Hey everybody, it's Ryan. Welcome back to How Farms Work. Today we are out at my place and we are replacing that 40, 50 year old fence with a day one old fence. So we already got the end posts pounded in with brace wire and braces. Now the reason we use braces and brace wire is to hold the post together. It helps kind of reinforce the fence and that way, you know, with frost heaving. Uh, the reason we actually pound down wood posts is because with frost lying underground over the winter, the posts will have a tendency to heave and the wood posts being underneath that frost layer help, helps keep the fence in place over time. So I had a bit of a problem this morning with my washer. It exploded, kind of. The drain pump quit on me, so um, I don't have any clean clothes other than what I'm wearing right now. I had to go into my closet and pull out a pair of jeans from high school. I feel like Tim McGraw with these on. I guess that's just the cowboy in me. In all seriousness, let's get the rest of the fence put in. Now we gotta run the first wire across so we know where the rest of the fence lays. And then with that, we'll go through and pound the rest of the posts and the T-posts in. Got all those stakes put down. I think it looks pretty straight, surprisingly. Now we gotta go through and pound all the wood posts in. Yeah, we're, we do five T posts to every one wood post. You can actually see where the old post was. Dad, what are we measuring and why? 54 inches. 54? Yep. For what? That's the height of the top wire. Alright. We got the fence all put in. It looks pretty good, I think. Not too shabby, but uh, it'll definitely turn away a cow, and that's what's important. Actually, turn away a steer. So what needs to be done yet is down the lower end, there's a low spot. Uh, we need to run a strand across there, and the electric fence needs to be put up yet as well. But uh, the, the wire's laying right there, so um, yeah, we'll, we'll do that another day. I mean, this, there aren't gonna be any cattle in here for a while. I might just let Fritzy out here just so that she can, you know, run around freely. But anyway, with that, uh, we're going to head back to the farm and feed calves. So 
Uh, anyway, thanks for watching this video, guys. Be sure to check out all of our other ones. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, all how farms work. And I'll see you next time.